stress biopia by the time you reach the middle age yes definitely surgery physiology we will do in that order stress biopia when you become associate professor it become very difficult to correct the question papers you know how we all passed mbbs exam because of the press biopic associate professors and professors who could not read what the what we are writing i still know one of the student short answer on ranula he started writing ranula is a special type of cannula only thing is it is not used in india anymore only in england it is being used such as short stories we have written many and that is how we passed our mbbs exams what is the reason associate professors in the middle age are all press biopic so they will not be able to read the near objects they need to have spectacles which are unifocal or bifocal yes and uh, correction of the refractive error need to be done and the underlying problem is as you keep aging there is a failure of press of accommodation which is the underlying cause so how do you treat doctor the press biopia there are various options contact lens spectacles or lasik press biopic hyperopic surgery multifocal intraocular lens then conductive keratoplasty and scleral expansion there are the various ways which you need to remember yes 2018 aims paper also we will discuss um, we will discuss definitely may may and uh, 2017 there are two question papers they are all very important in view of the forthcoming aims exam so the whole idea of press biopia is provide a convex lens so that the accommodation will come back to the focus of the near point and a working distance that is considered to be the management of choice so to do this you should know what is the working distance of the individual you estimate his refraction and you know the amplitude of accommodation and you supplement this with the appropriate strong strength of the lens convex lens is considered to be the management what types of spectacles are available for you to treat press biopia simple press biopia may your uh, far point has gone farther and uh, you need to put a convex lens and try to bring it nearer to the working distance that is the whole idea so you can have bifocal lens one is the patient is already myopic so the far and you are also having near similarly you have trifocals so that they will correct the far middle and the near vision third is progressive lenses they basically change the magnifying power from near to middle to far vision gradually so that they, they are called progressive lens so convex lens or a plus lens is a one which will bring the far point closer that is the whole idea of using the correction for press biopia now what are the agents which are called short acting <clears throat> yeah don't worry i will not go anywhere i am with you every day whenever i cannot some of my faculty will be there with you every day free right we will slowly every day within 2 hours we will try to see 5 6 hours 5 6 hours and then try to cover the subjects otherwise also all this discussion is available in the umedico app and anatomyofmedicine.com you will get you you have a dnb question bank review a very good question bank review last 15 years please take a chance to quickly run through the video discussion that will help you to get all this revision all these things we discussed is based on the dnb question the same thing which we are discussing on the pgi question bank so that is the reason at least one question bank 
एक बार एंड टू एंड लास्ट फिफ्टीन ईयर्स खत्म करे तो देन यू आर रेडी फॉर द एग्जाम सो दैट इज अ होल आइडिया शॉर्ट एक्टिंग मिड्रियाडिक्स ट्रॉपिक एम आई फिनाइल फिनाइल एफ्रिल आर कंसिडर बी द शॉर्ट एक्टिंग मिड्रियाडिक्स मिड्रियासिस मीन्स वॉट प्यूपिलरी डायलिटेशन वॉट काइंड ऑफ एजेंट्स कैन बी मिड्रियाटिक्स Either they should be adrenergic agonists. When will your pupils dilate? When you are sympathetically angry, right? So sympathetic agonists or parasympathetic antagonists will create the midriasis. So you have adrenergic agonists like adrenaline, cocaine, phenylephrine, hydroxyamphetamine. These are all the adrenergic agonists. When a tropic am I? is an example of a cholinergic antagonist that is also a midriatic it will cause midriasis and also cycloplegia cycloplegia means ciliary muscle is made to undergo relaxation so that is a cycloplegia so this is what uh, you have two types if you look at the adrenoceptors once more autonomic nervous system types of receptors what is the function of each of these receptors in the a autonomic nervous system very important doctor if you don't have a hold on the concepts of the autonomic nervous system in physiology entire life in the medical school become miserable let me tell you it doesn't take 10 minutes for you to become champions in ans if your ans is bad your pharmacology become bad After all, entire half the textbook of pharmacology depends on the assumption that you know about what is alpha one, alpha two, beta one, beta two receptor. If you miss that, you can't understand how hypertensives are working, antihypertensives are working, how the psychiatric drugs are working. Nothing you will be able to correlate. So there's a reason. One thing is related to the other doctor. That's the reason. Be very sure. Alpha one. What does it do? vasoconstriction it will increase the peripheral vascular resistance increase the blood pressure it will also cause midriasis and it will increase the closure of the internal sphincter of the bladder bladder has got the internal sphincter right so it will increase the constriction of the sphincter of the bladder that is the purpose of alpha 1 so there is a reason if you are having prostrate enlarged people what is the problem with them their bladder outlet obstruction is there so that is the reason you will try to use those alpha 1 antagonists which are very specific in acting on the bladder outlet on the internal sphincter and relax it that is the purpose of using the alpha antagonists then you have alpha 2 it will decrease the norepinephrine release in the brain so that is the reason if you want to use clonidine like drug how does it act clonidine is a agonist on the alpha 2 receptor in the brain it will decrease um, it will inhibit the release of the norepinephrine and it will decrease the sympathetic system outflow centrally and that is how it acts like a antihypertensive clonidine is a agonist in the alpha 2 is what you need to remember alpha 2 also inhibits the acetylcholine release alpha 2 also inhibits the insulin release that is what you have to ultimately remember then what is beta 1 beta 1 dil ki baat hota hai beta 1 stimulation lead to tachycardia increased lipolysis increased myocardial contractility and also increased release of the insulin that is what the beta 1 will basically do to you similarly you have beta 2 action so we will discuss this back once more but for now remember it is a alpha 1 receptor blockers which typically will lead to meiosis alpha 1 agonist will lead to midriasis and that is the whole purpose of adrenaline cocaine phenylephrine hydroxyamphetamine they all will cause alpha 1 receptor agonism is what you need to ultimately 
Remember